There's a little dude. I told him that he's allowed to hit daddy with the snow, but not me with the snow today. So we'll see what happens. But. morning guys we've been out of the hotel literally less than one minute and the boys are already fully engaged in a snowfall fight as you can see it's another cold snowy day in London today um, currently heading right now to the train station because we're gonna go down I think to Covent Garden to browse around the shops and see the little tiny Christmas market that is there um, I'm walking really slowly because I don't want to fall and break my rear end on the ice but um, as we're gonna go down to Covent Garden today have a walk around um, see the little shops but after that there's literally no plan for the day so we are going to yeah see where the day takes us Like, it's lights instead of mistletoes. I like that, that's fun. <laughs> took a bit but we're here it's at a common garden market um, it's supposed to be like the regular market except Christmas side and I've never been to either one so it should be pretty good look at the big old Christmas tree it's huge I don't know where it's from exactly but they're very proud that it's British grown so you should at least know that look it's flurrying yeah it's a uh, I think it's a fake snow <laughs> It looks cute, but it's not a snow. <laughs> yeah. I like that candelabra up there. It's so bright. Huh? Yeah. All the mistletoe around here, I expect there to be more kissing. <laughs> hey bird! Woo! <laughs> Where are you going? What is it? It's a chocolate cookie. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. I want. <laughs> well, they put one big dollop of chocolate in there. Or is it all for us? I don't know. We found a vegan chocolate chip cookie, cookie! shop. Yeah. Cookie. <laughs> yeah. Well, someone's not hungry for a vegan cookie, uh, but there's a place here in Covent Garden called Ben's Cookies, and they have one vegan chocolate chip cookie on the menu, so we got three because they so look delicious. delicious. They looked. You haven't even tried it yet. You think it's gonna be delicious? Well, but of course it is. I smell. Oh, you can smell it. It smells delicious. Okay. You wanna eat it? Yeah. All right. So take off your gloves first, babe. Yay. Just take one. And tell us if it's delicious. Is it good? Ooh, it smells delicious and warm. Let me get one of those. Mmm, they're really good. Taste like a cookie. Mm. Well, we're heading out of Covent Garden now. 
because as much fun as that was, it is really, really cold out here. And I think the whole time, about every five little minutes or so, a little man was like, Mommy, it's cold. We need to go to a toy store. Mommy, it's cold. We need to go to a museum. Mommy, it's cold. We need to go to an insert establishment here. So we're going to head back to the underground now and go do something else. But it was a pretty interesting market. Um, now what I was expecting, I don't know, I was expecting it to be more Christmassy because it's advertised as like having a Christmas market, but it's still pretty. And if you want to come, there's a couple of really cute photo opportunities. Like there's the spot here, and then there's stuff inside, and then there's also a huge D&G lighted Christmas market thing, which is pretty cool. So now let's go back to the metro. Let's see where on the train. Yeah, we are on the train. Kinda. <laughs> Queen. Literally, like the queen and the corgi made of Lego. Hey guys, so we are inside of Hamley's Toy Store right now, and Little Man and Mister are going crazy. Little Man is down here looking at toys, and to be honest with you, I don't know where my husband is. I'm pretty sure that he's in the store somewhere, but as far as where he is, I have no idea. But um, if you're gonna just take a second while he's up but occupied to tell you a little bit about Hamley's. Hamley's toy shop is famous um, in England, I think probably all over the world for having a lot of different toys, all different kinds of like age levels and things to do. The location one right now is the one that's on Regent Street and I think this is the biggest one that they have. I will have to fact check myself and I'll write it in the description. But um, it has seven floors of toys starting from like baby toys like all the way through like Mr. Toys. Actually, there's a clip earlier of them flying drones. That's a Mr. Toy, although the little man would like to play with it. Um, so I swear like anyone who's of any age would love this shop. Even I'm having a good time looking at all the Legos and all the things. Especially when it's cold outside in London you can come here and get warm and have a good time and play with all the toys. Um, little man said he wanted to go to like a theme park before but now I think that's what he wants to do. So um, he's having a really fun time. Sorry about that. What was I saying? I don't know. But um, I just wanted to pop in and mention it just because this place is really great. I think this is our second time here. It's been really fun. Um, the vibe in here because it's a couple of weeks until Christmas reminds me so much of like you know um, in Home Alone the name of the toy, the big toy store that Kevin goes to. Downstairs they were really decorated it and they even have like the music playing um, and it's like definitely like giving Christmas vibes which I guess Christmas is technically all about toys that's what they say so I totally understand why but it's a great place to come and it's been really fun so far oh wow there's a giant Batman behind me huge Whoa, that's pretty cool. Oh wow, you guys, so I'm in the basement and the boys are playing back there. But they have like all the different video game consoles and even back over there, I'll have a clip, I'll just put it in here and you guys can see in a bit. Um, but it's like a place you can actually play some of the games and test them out, which is really cool. But there's also a section I'm really excited about because you guys know I'm a bit of a potterhead. Check this out, you guys. It's a giant Lego Hagrid. <laughs> really pretty. I would love like a hair clip like this.
toy store to mommy's toy store. Ta-da! I was showing this before, but I always like to stop in every time I'm in London. Always amazing, every time it's amazing. Look how amazing it is. Well, that's cool. You can make your own special gift tag or label. Fresh. Um, so as you can tell, we're in a restaurant now. Um, after Nutella, we walked up and down Oxford Street for, I don't know, quite a while it felt like. Um, but we're cold and tired and hungry. And so now we're at a place called Mildred. Um, their menu is pretty extensive and it's a fully vegan cafe. And it looks really nice inside. It's a little bit pricey, but I mean, we are in downtown London, so it's not going to be cheap. But um, they have a bunch of different food. I don't even know what you would like consider it as. Um, it's not Asian fusion, it's just it's delicious vegan food. Um, and it's pretty good. So far, they've just come with our appetizer. I'll show you guys all our food, but yeah, it's going to be a pretty relaxing evening. After this, I think we're probably going to walk around a little bit more, maybe go back to the hotel, and then sleep because I am so tired. So, I'm going to say goodbye here. Um, I'll probably film some more stuff tonight, but if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by subscribing and liking below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.